Fear is probably the least understood, yet most powerful force we can tap into. But most people are deathly afraid of fear. They fear fear. You know the famous quote, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. That's true. But there's a big difference between fear and reality. So you have two choices today. You can either tame fear or fear can tame you. For us, we've been talking all week about growing our business and the challenge of growing our business. And what Patrick brought is so many of us talked about the fear frontier. And so many of us just stop before we ever get there. And he really talked about how do you know you're stopping so you kind of recognize those fear responses and then how do you turn it into performance. And I think especially when you have a sales organization, that happens all the time. Our whole business, our whole mission this week was to become a stronger sales organization. And I think he really challenged us to do so by saying, break through that fear and use it as a, a source of energy for being successful. Okay, so let me ask you something. How many people here are afraid to go to your own bathroom in your own house? Say I. Not many. How many people right now, be careful what you answer because you might end up holding her. How many people are afraid of snakes? Say I. Okay, there's a few. That's an illusory fear. There are 243,000 people, according to the CDC, that get hurt in their own bathroom. There are 10,000 every year that die in their own bathroom. Do you know how many people die every year from a snake? In the United States, 10 people. That's called an illusory fear. We've got five steps that we'll go through to find the adventurer within. The first one is scare yourself once a month. So many of us, <laughs> I'm not joking, and I'll help. So, so many of us stay away from that fear frontier. If you're afraid of public speaking, then make a toast next time you're out to lunch. If you're afraid of snakes, ask your kids to hide a rubber snake somewhere in your house. I'm sure they'd enjoy that.